I got two videos for you guys tonight. In this first video, we're going to look at the lives of some of the reptiles. And then I want to show you what happens when this Cuban tree frog approaches our dominant green and old Thor. I moved the night and all out of Thor's territory so that he can hunt while he's not in the territory with most of the unknowns that we all know. And he did go hunting. If you look at his belly, it's full right now. So I brought him back over to Thor's territory so he can bass where he likes to bass. We just dropped some beetles up here. And this green and old was up there on the wall. And he jumped from all the way up there down here. And is now grubbing. We got some interesting videos of Thor coming out soon. He finally battles, but he woke up in that plant that you guys saw him in, and then he starts his day by basking in his territory. This is Carnage right here. He's coming up from down there. I don't know what he was doing down there, but he's on his way up. And I think he's about to make his way to his spot. But look, he might try to mate when he gets here because there's a female right here. Look at the line down her back. Hopefully they do mate. So we have some beetles right here. I'll just scoop up a few of them. These are those right here are ready to hunt. See, this is how you want it. When food is around, you want them active and searching for it. There's a beetle, I think. I saw one. I don't, oh, right here. This is how you want your nose to behave and look for food. So she's on her way down to grab a beetle. We missed their link up earlier, but now we just came back in and we got carnage right here. And the female is down here. The females are much smaller. And this and all right here is the new dominant male over here. At first, we had Invader Zim coming over here, and he would run this territory, and Invader Zim would run this territory over here. Look, she's hunting down there. She's about to hunt. But yeah, Invader Zim would run back and forth. But now, this dude just decided to take over this territory. He pushed him to the side. He has a cut tail, too. This night and all spends all day in Thor's territory. He moves throughout those branches right there basking, and then at night he'll go and sleep in the leaves up top. This is why I love the Anole species. There's no other species that'll give you this much action and entertainment while being their natural selves. That Anole right there just rose up in rank. I didn't know who he was before. He was submissive somewhere, but today he decided to take over this territory. And so far, he's been holding it. I set the camera up in this area just to see what I could catch. And this is what we found. This green tree frog woke up in this plant. And now he's going to make his way to his favorite spot to soak up some warmth. I always see him in his favorite spot in the plant above. But I never see him get there. So it was interesting to finally get a chance to see him maneuver his way. Frogs hop when necessary. I used to think frogs hopped everywhere.
I did the same thing here. I wanted to set the camera up and see what I could catch. And as usual, Thor is in his territory. Bobbing his head, displaying his dewlap, letting all the males know that this is his territory. But something interesting happened today. Thor is the biggest and baddest green and all in the habitat by far. But watch how he reacts to this Cuban tree frog. When I played this back, I wasn't expecting to see a Cuban tree frog in this area. I've saw gray tree frogs the most, and then second green tree frogs. This is the first time seeing a Cuban tree frog. Is the Cuban tree frog the most dominant in the habitat? I'm doing two videos tonight, you guys. There's going to be a feeding video premiering 10 minutes after this one. I appreciate you guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a like. It helps the algorithm recommend our videos to other people. I'll see you guys on the next one.